Good morning everybody and once again welcome to the video. This video I will be talking about the AWS S3 batch operation, what AWS S3 batch operation is and how we can use it followed by a simple demo. So let me share my screen and go over the definition followed by a small demo. Uh, you can use S3 batch operation to perform large scale batch operation on Amazon S3 objects. S3 batch operations can perform single operation on, on a list of Amazon S3 objects that you specify. A single job can perform a specified operation on billions of objects containing exabyte of data. Amazon S3 tracks a progress, sends notification and stores a detailed completion report of all the actions providing a fully managed audit and a serval serverless experience. You can use S3 batch operation through the AWS management console, CLI, SDK or REST API. So essentially uh, think of batch operation as an ability. So say if you want to move data or let's say you want to uh, change the storage class, uh, uh, storage class of the objects in the S3 bucket and there are millions of, of them. Are you going to do one by one or are you going to write a script? Uh, well, they have a feature where you can easily leverage uh, the use of batch operation, right? For example, this scenario, I'll be teaching you how to essentially uh, move data from a bucket A to B using batch operation. So say, assume you have a lot of data, right? Thousands and thousands of data. How to move, do that, right? So let, let me, uh, hopefully you guys can already see my screen. Um, so first of all, what we need is something called a manifesto file. Uh, now you can directly generate the manifesto file or you can use inventory report to generate that. I've already generated that. I'll show you how to essentially <laughs> generate these uh, manifest file. So head, head over to the management section and scroll down to the inventory configuration. Now click on create um, button, give it a name. A prefix is essentially which folder you want to give. So I want to do inside this folder, for example, right? So you can give a prefix destination uh, uh, reports so so once uh, you know the job runs the inventory where where should it uh, essentially put your manifesto file so you can put it in the same bucket or a different bucket uh, what what do you want the output to look like csv parquet uh, you do you want encryption there you uh, and and do you want any other column such as size last modified and, and, and stuff like that right so you could uh, click on create and this will create uh, essentially your inventory job now, do remember that inventory jobs can take up to 24 hours. Uh, so if you create a job right now, you're not going to see the, uh, these files immediately. You will see at the next day. Okay. And there is no way that you can essentially trigger it manually. I have done the research and you can't do it. Uh, um, you can't trigger them manually. Uh, if you want, if you have small objects, you can essentially write a Python script to create your own manifesto file. But I, however, recommend the inventory approach. Okay. So assuming, you know, you waited for one day and, you know, you had uh, essentially these um, uh, uh, report here. Oh, sorry. Let me go back. So if I go to reports and uh, here, so every day it's going to dump a new folder like this and you'll see all the reports there, right? I have my manifest.json here, right? So now what do you want to do is I have a copy bucket in the same region. I want to move data from here to here, right? So that's where I can leverage the use of batch operation in S3. So you can come here and click on create over here. It says uh, clearly that uh, S3 report manifest.json, right? So you want to browse and you want to select uh, the manifesto file should go back. So I'm going to come here, go to reports, inventory here, and I select my manifest.json. Um, then you want to click on next. So now these are all the operations you can do, right? Copy, invoke a Lambda function. So in scenarios where you want to do some complex action, you can even invoke a Lambda function. Replace all the object tags, delete all the object tags, replace all the control. So restore, object lock retention, object lock, legal hold and replicate. So these are all the stuff you can do. I would like to do a copy so I can click on a copy. Uh, here you have to select the destination bucket and I can select that I want to do inside a copy bucket, right? Um, I'll say acknowledge and then you can select the storage class that you need, right? And then server side encryption, whether you need that or not, object tags, so all the settings, metadata you could select here and then you can click on next. Once you click on next, uh, here it will uh, essentially ask you 
completion report so when the job completes right so it will dump the uh, report so where do you want that report to be uh, dumped right so select the s3 uh, essentially location where you want to be dumped select an arm iam role for that and then click on next and hopefully you will see a job like this once you do that then this will say awaiting here awaiting right then what you want to do is you want to click on the job and when you come to the bottom section you will see something called run job so you want to click on run job which will come up uh, there'll be a button at the bottom section right and once you do that uh, you will see the status is completed now if i go back to my bucket that is the copy bucket since i already ran it so i don't want to do it again and i have all the same files here right 34 files here right in my copy bucket uh, also since the job ran uh, it dumps the metadata uh, in this folder so as you can see manifesto file is also there so if you want you can come here and download this in the results section you have uh, further details so if you can download that as well uh, I'll, I'll quickly try to show you if possible uh, so let's open um, the csv file again i have just 34 objects uh, which is replicating here so right so as you can see right each object the status code and was it successful or was it rejected so a, a beautiful very nice report has been generated for you right so here you can see i have the bucket name and then i have the key of the bucket right the actual key right so it generates a very nice report right for you right uh, so I hope you have enjoyed uh, this uh, small walkthrough on uh, AWS S3 batch uh, operation. Uh, and as I said, right, I'll leave all these links in the description section below. Uh, a very cool feature is uh, you could also attach a Lambda function. So that makes it even more interesting. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I hope uh, this was useful. And if you did find this uh, resource useful, let me know down in the comment section below. And if you have any more question, kindly put your question in the comments and I'll try my best to answer it. Thank you so much for watching, keep smiling and I'll see you guys in the next video.